It is dawn, and a new day begins. Across the land, a wake-up call is heard, and in the towns and cities of America, entrepreneurs rise to the call. Time for new developments, new visions, new growth. It is time to move America forward. Welcome to our series, Moving America Forward. Each week we'll be focusing on America's entrepreneurs as they take us to new roads, new opportunities, new ways to fill the gaps left by today's failing companies. Our series will be looking at that and a lot more. So come with me and watch as the entrepreneurs of our nation move into the future. I'm William Shatner, and you're watching Moving America Forward. And I'm Doug Llewellyn here in our studios in Los Angeles with our guests today who are for company, from a company named Rosas Horchata, which is headquartered in Deerfield, Illinois. They also have an office in Valencia, California. I'd like you to meet the executives. On my left is Stephen Fox, who's the CEO of the company, and on his left is Joe Benitez, who is the director of sales. Uh, interestingly, Stephen, a little while ago you had a chance to chat briefly with William Shatner and answer a few questions. Let's take a quick look at how that went, and then we'll come back and I'll talk to you in depth, okay? Yep. I know a little bit of, about what you do, but can you describe it in your own words exactly what it is and where one can find your products? And let me ask how you feel this might be helping to move America forward? Mr. Shatner, we make a healthy drink called Rosas Horchata. It's a great tasting drink with 19 vitamins and minerals targeted to the Hispanic family. We're bringing a premium beverage with great cultural significance to America's most rapidly growing population. And that, Mr. Shatner, is how we're helping to move America forward. That was very, very interesting indeed. I, I, I'm really intrigued to know what this is. But first off, let me ask you, if I'm part of the Mexican community or really any other culture, why would I want to try this product? And, and what's your opinion of that? This is a, the first time that a truly premium product has been introduced and brought to the Mexican and Hispanic community, yet this product has been part of the tradition of that community for literally centuries. So they're extremely familiar with this. Uh, to, completely, and it's been part of their culture literally from early childhood through their entire lives. Yet here in the United States, it's only reached a fraction of its potential. Well, we're going to take a taste of this. This is how it's actually packaged. It's in, in bottles like this. Well, you pour some because I'm really intrigued to find out how this tastes. It's been described as very, very delicious, and the ingredients are, are quite fascinating, to say the least. But as you can see, Stephen is pouring, pouring some right now. We're all going to try this. Obviously, the, the bottle is cold. It's best, best consumed chilled right chilled and and over ice is the traditional way yeah. to right. uh, well, to have salute. it well salute let's see <laughs> hey you know that's good <laughs> that's very good all right tell me tell me what's in it what am i actually tasting the base is a milk and rice base and then the flavoring comes from in the case of the original the flavoring comes from vanilla and cinnamon and then we also have the strawberry flavor, which of course the flavoring comes from strawberry, but there's also cinnamon in the strawberry. And an interesting note also, when it was originally developed, the purpose of it was actually to bring down the burn of the spice of the spicy Mexican and Hispanic cuisine. So traditionally this was consumed with dinner? With dinner or, or lunch or meals, yeah. Right. And when that fiery spice was burning your mouth, this would actually be an antidote for it. But is this also the kind of drink you would consume in the afternoon if, where you would normally be having, let's say, a soft drink? You'd have this instead? Absolutely, and it's a healthier alternative. Uh, it gives a full serving of dairy. We have 19 vitamins and minerals in it. 
uh, it, it's a much healthier alternative to many of the soda pops and other less less healthy drinks out there. Joe, you've, you're, you're of the Mexican community. You know, you've been drinking this, I guess, most of all your life, life, all right. your life. How would you describe the taste? It's, it's, it's very authentic, very original. I had my wife is from Mexico City, so I had her taste it, and she really, really enjoyed it. And she is my final taste test. When I go to her and she says she likes it, then there's something really good. If she says she doesn't like it, I skip it. <laughs> it's still hard. How do you describe it? What, mm -hmm. what? It's, it's, it's a, just a hint of sweetness, but it's mostly refreshing and cool and creamy. I mean, it's not unlike a milkshake to, to, a, to a degree. Right. The texture, I say, is kind of halfway between a glass of milk and a milkshake. It's not a, quite as thick as a milkshake, right. so it doesn't overpower you. It's not a dessert. It's more of a refreshing beverage that you can drink with a meal or uh, between meal or, in fact, even as a meal replacement. Historically, am I right, this is the kind of, of beverage that was actually made at home. That's correct. It's actually the recipes are handed from mother to daughter to daughter to daughter to daughter. And, uh, and it's made basically the same every time with the, uh, the common ingredients of cinnamon and rice water, uh, and some sugar in it and some flavoring in it, but it's very traditional. And by the way, if you look at the demographic, 65% of all Hispanics in the United States are Mexican or Mexican descendant. Yeah. But you find it, and so this is really targeted a lot at the Mexican community, but you also find it in other Hispanic cultures. You find it in Spain, as a matter of fact, or you find it in South Central America. It's an horchata with a few twists here and there with different ingredients in it. Correct me, Nastia. As I understand, this is the first time that a premium horchata, and, and when I say premium, what does that really mean? There's really three parts to what we would really uh, hold as our premium nature. The most important is the ingredients, and we use nothing but first-class ingredients, whole grain rice, real sugar, real milk, uh, and I could go on. But mo secondly, a very high-level premium retort process, which is the ultimate in, in both safety and quality of processing, and that makes it shelf-stable, by the way. It's I was just going to say, it's, you find it in the store, it doesn't have to be refrigerated. It doesn't have to be refrigerated, it's 100% sterile, it's, it's the uh, most safe and and, uh, and and also most delicious uh, way to process it. It's the highest level of processing. And lastly, very importantly, the packaging. Packaging is important. This is not a paper package. This is not a can. This is a beautiful glass bottle with a beautiful label. This is the face that's going to launch a thousand ships, as we say. All right. Why would stores want to carry this? Well, that's our business in a nutshell is that we are going to be a marketing juggernaut and what st stores care most about is how you support the product and different than many other beverage companies and different than certainly any of the small horchata um, uh, the horchatas that have been launched in the past, we are going to support this with enormous marketing firepower. Our company, myself, as well as some of the others in our company have long marketing backgrounds and we intend to make this nothing but a huge marketing success. We've already started that and we're going to continue in nothing but uh, a strong marketing program. And who are you primarily going after to carry this product? Uh, uh, really four major targets, um, grocery stores, convenience stores, club and mass stores, and then a fourth which would be institutions, everything from military to education and any kind of institutional uh, outlet. Do you see this having an, an impact on the non-Hispanic market as well, Joe? I think it's a traditional product. One of the things you're going to find is it used to be that uh, stores were that were not Hispanic stores and what happened is that small Hispanic stores started cropping up that led to big Hispanic chains but the traditional grocery stores like Albertsons or Vons or any of those started carrying Hispanic product. Yeah. So the, the idea here is not only are you catching the Hispanics that are going to those stores but in my opinion and we've discussed it before it's also good for the, it's non-traditional. I think it's got the ability to be able to jump into the non-Hispanic market as well. The taste 
And also, if you look at the trend, there's so many new beverages out in the marketplace, and people are willing to try something new. And I think they're going to really like this. And if I could uh, add one thing on sure. that, and that's really where the key of our marketing strength comes in, is that so, ma so much of the non-Hispanic marketplace has just never heard of it. But once we get it in front of them and get them to taste it and introduce it to them, that's where the big success is going to come in and the growth. How, how long has this product been actually available on the market? It's actually, we have not launched it yet. We have spent the last time of our company that we have been building the company. We have developed the product, we've developed the label, the package, the, this, uh, this bottle has been developed custom by us. All of the background work has been done. We're now in the launch phase. So the push is just about to happen. And where is it going to take place? Are you focusing primarily on Southern California to begin? Yes. Texas, these other areas where there are large Hispanic communities? Yes. Southern California will be first. Our growth, pa uh, growth plan is for Texas, uh, the Chicago and upper Midwest uh, area, but certainly take California first. And it's interesting that the company's really headquartered in Deerfield, Illinois. You, don't, <laughs> you wouldn't think that that's where this would be located. Right. Well, that's where I'm located, uh, and that's really just uh, the kind of the, the control center. But certainly, okay. from a sales perspective, and where Joe is located in Valencia, that's going to be the heart of the push for the marketing. Our ad agency he is going to be uh, here in in Southern California. So the heart of the push of the marketing, and that's really the the face of the company, is here in Southern California. For the folks who tried this, obviously you've done taste tests with without I would assume many many people. Yes. What kind of reaction do you get? Over overwhelming success um, and again a, a literally a home run um, uh, Joe was there and we had an independent third-party company do a major taste test at the largest uh, Hispanic Catholic Church in Southern California and uh, but literally 25,000 parishioners but yeah. we got a big survey and 96% of those surveyed said the taste was great, 94% uh, said the packaging was beautiful, and another 94% said they would buy it in their local store. Joe, we only have a couple of seconds left, but I gather you see a huge potential for this product. Well, right? as you know, and especially in the Los Angeles market where we plan to begin the launch, yeah. we have one of the largest populations of Hispanics in the world, second right. only to Mexico City. So the new census will show about 10 million of us here in Southern California, and we think that's a great market in which to launch this product. I think it's going to be very, very successful. Well, gentlemen, this is really very exciting to be at the forefront of something <laughs> happening like this. Thank you so much for bringing this to let us see it and let us taste it. All right? Our Thank pleasure. You. Thank this you, Doug. really good. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm William Shatner, and you're watching Moving America Forward. This organization represents companies across our great nation that embody the spirit, dedication, know-how, and can-do attitude which has made America the great nation it is today. And now let's present the Keeping America Strong Award. Now it's my honor to present this prestigious Moving America Forward Award to Stephen Fox, the CEO of Roses Horchata for the outstanding work his company is doing to help keep America moving forward. Congratulations, Stephen. Thanks, Doug, very much. And uh, I'd like to thank all of the members of Rosas Horchata, Joe, and our great team. And I certainly would also like to thank our early stage investors, uh, without whom none of this would be possible. Again, congratulations. Thanks very much, Doug. That's it for another edition of Moving America Forward. I'm Bert Tenzer. Join us again as we continue to bring you the entrepreneurs who move America forward. I'm William Shatner, and for all of us at Moving America Forward, thanks for watching.